Hi everyone, Blake Jones here. In this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to have a look at the Retouch For Me OpenFX plugins for Resolve. Now, these plugins are actually a fantastic set of plugins that you can add to your existing Resolve system to give yourself far more creative possibilities. Now, for example, the um, Heal and Dodge tools are fantastic for cleaning up facial imperfections. There's also the Color Match plugin. This is a fantastic plugin whereby you can take a picture, load it into the plugin, and then have it match the color for the shot that you're on to the reference automatically. You can also set up a lookup table to be your reference, bring that in, and it gives you a library of lookup tables that can be used. You can call these up, bring them in, and load this into the system. It's a wonderful way of working, an extremely powerful tool. All three of these plugins can be purchased individually, and there's links in the comments below. And uh, so for without further ado, let's get started and have a look. Okay, Retouch For Me essentially has three different um, plugins that can be purchased individually. And so what we're going to do first is I've got all three here. If I come to my OpenFX plugins here, scroll down to the bottom, and I've got the Heal and Dodge and Burn plugins. So for example, if I want to use the Dodge and Burn, I can bring that in like so. And then I have my various controls for this. Depth, Warmth, Portrait Scale, Smoothness Mode, and Soft Light Layer. Now, what happens is you need to really cache this, work with a render cache when you're working with this so that you will have a decent playback speed. The other little trick you can do is actually apply the dodge and burn and the heal tools using Fusion. If we select here, if we right mouse click in, this, in the node area, add tool, and then we can come down and as you can see, here are my Resolve OpenFX plugins. And then here we've got the Retouch For Me. So if I wanted to work with Dodge and Burn, for example, I could select that. And now I have a, a node for that, and then I can route to it and work this way. So that's another way of working. Okay, so for the Dodge and Burn OpenFX, what we want to do first is let's do apply a node and our OpenFX plugin there. Uh, the settings are pretty accurate where they come up at. And then you can come over here and change your smooth mode. Change my sensitivity. You can make this up or down. You can zoom into the picture. You can vary the texture, the smoothing. And so as with the other tool, the, the way it defaults is actually pretty accurate to start off with. His blemish that you see here, when I turn it up, is now gone. So it does a very good job of automatically concealing blemishes in the picture. Third tool, and last but not least, we've got the color match. And color match is really an exciting tool because what happens is we come over here to this shot and we drag this into here like so. And what I want to do is match this with a uh, picture or a JPEG that I have from another shot. So what I can do here is I can choose a reference image. 
And then I can come over here and I've got a couple of test pictures here. So let's use test number one, open that up. And now this will show me the color correction in that JPEG, my original color correction here, and what it has changed this to here as well. So it really does, it's a great way of working because very often you'll end up with um, customers who will come in with a series of pictures and say, oh, I want my shot to look just like this. You can actually import this into um, the OpenFX plugin and it will go through and do a match for you. And then for example, let's say I want to uh, try another reference image. Let's try this one, for example, and bring that in. And as you can see, uh, this is what it's done. He's actually graded this to match to the shot. Yeah. So it's a real fast way of going through and doing color matching. Now, the next thing that you can do too, is you can also uh, go into the LUT manager. And then here you have various lookup tables that can be applied into the picture. And as you can see, here are all the different ones that are available here that you can use. For example, we even have a film feel one and things like this that can be applied into the picture. So there we have it. For more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to my uh, YouTube channel so this way you will be alerted to all the new upcoming videos. Also, I've just started a podcast channel on Spotify where I interview people in the industry and also the first two episodes will be about myself actually so you'll know a little bit more about me as a colorist and how i learned the trade and how i actually learned about working with film and the film industry in hollywood also think about becoming a patreon member there are a lot of great perks there and i look forward to seeing you again soon thanks a lot for watching